The University of Arizona is getting ready to launch clinical trials of a new drug from Cuba, which is designed to treat diabetic lesions and could ultimately help people save limbs from the impact of the disease. Cronkite News reporter Maricela Ramirez is live in our Washington bureau after talking to researchers there today. The message for the 40 or so people gathered here today was that a new drug could not only save money, it could save the 70 to 80,000 diabetics who become amputees every year. Pain is a gift from God. It's a quote that most would question, except for diabetic patients like Henry Hughes, who can no longer feel pain due to a side effect of diabetes known as neuropathy. But over time, it's caused my uh, feet and hands to develop neuropathy. I've had about five or six surgeries on both feet. Hughes and others are excited about an experimental new drug from Cuba that has shown promise in healing foot ulcers in diabetic patients. The Cubans have developed a product 10 years ago that has treated over 200,000 patients in 26 countries that has shown to have a 70 to 80 percent success rate in eliminating amputations in those patients with diabetic foot ulcers, chronic diabetic foot ulcers. Anderson said his company hopes to begin clinical trials this year at the University of Arizona, among other sites. Patient testing is just one of the many steps for this drug to become FDA approved. It's a silent uh, and sinister syndrome, uh, diabetes in general and the foot in diabetes uh, especially. So we're talking about just marrying a little bit of technology with some tenacity. Uh, to make a difference and prevent amputations uh, in our patients. And the great news is that we can do it. The researchers here today pointed to this drug as one of the first gains to come out of the recent efforts to normalize relations between the United States and Cuba. Live in Washington, Maricela Ramirez, Cronkite News.